Okay, uh, chapter 9, day 3, <coughs> video. What are the reciprocal trig functions and how do we use them? So what are the reciprocal trig functions? So reciprocal, if we think of reciprocal of a fraction, it's the flip of a fraction, all right? The numerator and denominator trade places. So we have three reciprocal trig functions, okay? We have secant, which is symbolized by SEC, secant theta, and that is the flip of the cosine. So it's one over cosine. Cosecant, which is CSC, cosecant, is the flip of the sine. The only way I remember it is when I take the reciprocal, I gotta make sure that the secant, the flip, it won't have the same first letter. That's how I remember it. Secant, one over cos, cosecant, one over sine. I know it sounds like cosecant should be one over cos, but it's not. It's a reciprocal trig function, so these letters can never match. Okay. Cotangent, that's kind of the easier one to remember, is the reciprocal of tangent, so one over tangent. But since tangent is sine over cos, it could also be written as cos over sine, the reciprocal of tangent. All right, those are your three reciprocal trig functions. How do we use them? How do we find them out? Well, let's say we have, you're going to be given like a big long word problem, but we can, we can filter this out a little bit. The terminal side or ending side of an angle, PAT, in standard position, which means it starts at the positive x-axis, intersects the unit circle, so I know the radius is 1, at some point T. If the measure of angle PAT is theta, so here's my angle, theta, okay, find the sine, the cos, and the tangent, and the secant, the cosecant, and the cotangent, all right? So if point T is the, has the following coordinates, negative radical 35 over 6, comma, negative 1 over 6. So both are negative. I know it's in the third quadrant. So I draw a little triangle in the third quadrant, okay? So the sine of the angle, we learned in days 1 and 2 that the sine is just the y value, negative 1 over 6. Cosine, just the x value, negative th square root of 35 over 6. Where did this point come from? It's given to you in the problem. All right, the tangent then is the sine over the cos. So the sine, negative one over six, negative one over six, over the cos, negative radical 35 over six. Well, negative divided by, uh, divided by negative, I know it's gonna be positive. And my common denominator is six, so if I multiply both top and bottom by 6, my answer is positive 1 over the square root of 35. But we do not like to leave the radicals on the bottom, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by radical 35, and I get the square root of 35 over 35, and that would be the tangent of that angle, okay? Uh, what's really nice is when they're both fractions with the same denominator, the tangent works out to be the sine, just the negative one part, the numerator, over the cos. Something to keep in mind, make your life a little bit easier. So secant now, because if we said what's the sine, cos, and tangent, what's the secant? Well, the secant is the flip of the cosine. So if I take the cosine value and flip it, I have secant. So the secant is one over the cosine. So it is negative, because when I flip, the negative doesn't go away. 6 over the square root of 35, but I don't like to leave that on the bottom. So again, I'll rationalize that denominator, and I get negative 6 square root of 35 over 35. So that would be the secant. The cosecant is the flip. Well, negative does not go away just because I take the reciprocal. And negative 6 divided by 1 is just negative 6. And that's only for, again, only for this angle created by this point intersecting the unit circle. So this isn't hold true for every angle. What holds true is the secant is the reciprocal of the cos. The cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine. And the tangent, or cotangent, is the reciprocal of tangent. Well, this was tangent before we had to rationalize it. So if I flip that, 
I get the square root of 35 over 1, which is just the square root of 35. So that's how you can find reciprocal trig functions. All right. They are just the reciprocal of sine, cosine, and tangent. All right. So the biggest thing you have to remember here is secant goes with cosine, cosecant goes with sine, and cotangent is just the reciprocal of tangent. And that's it for reciprocal trig functions.